Today I'm going to show you how to turn this small patch of soil into a simple greenhouse that will look like this to extend your growing season in the spring and in the winter. In this hoop we have some Russian kale, some mint, basil, tomatoes, hot peppers, more different kind of kale, basil, some cherry tomatoes, some kale some horseradish, some more peppers, basil, blooming parsley here. This small bed is 6 feet by 10 feet. And what I did is I put two rows of rebar here. The rebar is half an inch diameter and it is 4 feet long. I put this rebar a foot and a half into the ground. And within one row the rebar is 3 feet apart from each other and the two rows just like the bed are six feet apart. I have here eight rebar, four per row. I also got half inch diameter, ten foot long metal conduit and I bent them and stuck them on top of the rebar. I had to make a nice smooth arch and how I did that is I used one of these conduit benders. In this case it was half an inch. This is a three quarter inch that I'm using for another pipe. But how I did that is that I very gradually bent it leaving two feet unbent on each side so I can insert conduit onto the rebar without a problem. And a better way of doing it actually to get really nice and smooth arches is if you have a jig or another conduit already bent to form the arch against. I made sure that the rebar is in line with each other on the bottom. I also made sure that the arches line up. And you can check that with a 2x4, just put one on top to make everything even so nothing is sticking out. Now, in order for the conduit not to slide down the rebar, I fastened some wire. And I left about 7 inches of rebar free. So there's plenty of rebar inside the conduit so it won't slide off and plenty of rebar inside the ground so it's stable. Make sure you press the wire on the inside so it doesn't cut the plastic. Now I have a 10 foot 2x4 which I will fasten onto these arches and since the arches are 3 feet apart I will have about 5 inches left on each side of the 2x4 and that will give me enough room to put the strapping on underneath. Make sure that your 2x4 is positioned in the center of the structure, in the center of each arch. I'm cutting about six inches for each strap of this strap iron tape that's normally used for plumbing. It works well to secure the EMT to the 2x4. Now I'm going to show you how to make these clips to hold the plastic in place. Okay, first you cut 4 to 5 inches of water pipe. Make sure the diameter of this water pipe is the same as the conduit that you're going to be putting it on to hold stuff in place. So for example this is three quarter inch. This is not PVC, this is flexible high density polyethylene. Next I cut this pipe across from each side because my snips don't reach that far. Now next I cut another line all the way across which is much easier, about quarter of an inch away from the other line. So it's a quarter of an inch strip, making a, an opening like that. Next, I round each corner so it slips on better and it doesn't damage the plastic. Just rounding it off.
Okay, you want to have six inches of plastic excess all around, even on the bottom, because when the wind blows and it goes back and forth, it has to have some room to play with for it to stay all secure like that. And then on the bottom we're going to put a bar, so you need excess over there. Now you need to spread the plastic over the whole hoop, even on all sides. I put the plastic over the structure with at least foot overlap so it doesn't cave in and I have room to roll up the conduit. I also put clips onto the conduit so it holds the plastic and I can roll it up. In order to keep the plastic in place, I put a one by two on top of the plastic and on top of the 2x4 and I'm going to screw it in with 2 inch screws This is how the pipe is cut with this nifty rigid pipe cutter. Now to join these two roll-up EMTs, I use a coupling. It's the set screw coupling, the same size as the EMT. And how I do that is, in order to uh, install this onto that, I pre-drill the roll-up EMTs so the screws hold the grip. And what you do is you screw in the screws to make little marks to know where you'll be drilling. Unscrew them like that. Take the coupling off. You can see I've made a little mark here and there. And now I'm going to drill little holes. I put the coupling back, overlapping little, little holes. Now, if you don't have a coupling, you can take a size bigger EMT, a little piece, and put that on and screw it in with sheet metal screws. And that will work in a similar way, I think. And screw in the screw into the hole. And I do the same thing to the other side. I put the coupling in. And I screw in the screw. And to protect the plastic from the screws, you tape up the whole joint with some duct tape. Make sure it's not going anywhere. Keep the plastic in place. I put two eye hooks uh, on top, on either end of the top strip, and I ran rope through them uh, from one side to the other side, and I tied a rope to the rebar. Then I put a rope in the center on a diagonal, and I tied it to the rebar, 
but if you have a center arch you just run this rope along that center arch. To keep the sides rolled up I put in a stick at a proper distance so the handle could rest on it.